Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm taking 20 vintage handkerchiefs and I'm going to make a quilt. Applicate these very thin handkerchiefs on some white cotton squares for some of these scalloped edge handkerchiefs. I used my quilting foot, my darning foot, and I put the feed dogs down so that I was able to move around those scallops. And for the first one, I pinned my handkerchief to the center of a 16 inch square. But after that, I was able to use some basting spray and I think it worked just a little bit better. I had these handkerchiefs given to me and they've been in my possession quite a while. I've been wanting to use them, but someone asked recently how I might make a quilt using them. And so that's what prompted me to make this video today. My handkerchiefs are all different sizes, which made it just a little bit tricky. I had to get a background square that was a little bit bigger than my largest handkerchief. And there is not really a uniform look to my quilt squares. I noticed though on Amazon that they do sell sets of handkerchiefs and maybe I'll leave a link below if I can find that again so that you can, um, if you wanted to, you could purchase some and make your own quilt. The trick to using this basting spray was to use very, very little. I tried to hardly touch that little top button and just a tiniest bit was all I needed to get the handkerchief to stick temporarily to that backing fabric. It washes out when you're all done with this project.
and I had my 20 handkerchiefs appliqued, machine appliqued to the backing fabric. I arranged them on the floor and then I just sewed the rows together and before you knew it, I had a quilt top. For my quilt top, I added four inch borders all the way around. Here is my quilt top complete, except I'm going to add one more thing to this quilt top just to make it a little different. Through my three inch square drawer and I found these pretty vintagey looking fabrics and I'm going to press all of the edges in. They'll end up to be about two and a half inches when I'm done. So I pressed in a quarter inch all the way around on my squares and I'm going to be appliquing these onto my quilt. I positioned my little squares in each of the corners of my quilt blocks right where all of those white squares meet and I positioned them kind of on point and it gives this quilt sort of a surprise element that I think is kind of fun. So I'm going to hand applique all of these little squares onto my quilt.
Here's a picture before I'm quite finished. I still need to hand applique some of these squares on. I have basted them all, so now it's sort of a travel project and I'm looking forward to finishing this beautiful quilt top. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.